A man was driving one day when he realized he had some car trouble and he needed to stop. Immediately he suspected what the problem was. It's a common problem, but of course, he had to confirm. But just as he was about to get out of his car, a passerby said to him, Your cylindrical apparatus, whose successive revolutions bear you forward into space, has lost its pristine rotundity. He said, What? The man was telling him that he had a flat tire. Yes, the cylindrical apparatus whose successive revolutions or constant turning bear him forward into space or get the car moving is the tire. And by becoming flat, it has lost its pristine rotundity, its regular or original roundness. That passerby reminds me of what it is like to read Watchtower literature. The only difference is that when it comes down to it, I can make sense of what the passerby said. In 1914, war broke out between nations of Europe, a war that spread and engulfed the whole world. By the time it ended in 1918, terrible food shortages had been experienced, and there was a flu epidemic in which more people died than were killed in the war. Thus, the sign that Jesus had given to identify his invisible presence as Earth's new king started to be fulfilled. Jehovah's greatness has been manifested in connection with his kingdom purposes. For instance, in the year 1914, he installed his son, Jesus Christ, as heavenly king. How do you have someone who is off? Please Winston, please don't talk about the contradiction of heavenly king versus earth's new king. Just move on to the main point of this video. How do you have someone who is off the view? that being crowned king in heaven in 1914 means that Jesus began his invisible presence. While he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples approached him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your presence and of the conclusion of the system of things? Were the disciples asking Jesus when would be the sign that he was crowned king in heaven? What do witnesses mean by the invisible presence of Jesus? Present where? And does it mean the same thing today as it did say in 1974 when the following was printed? When C.T. Russell began publishing a new religious magazine in July 1879, it was called Zion's Watchtower and Herald of Christ's Presence. It was heralding Christ's presence as having begun in 1874. This invisible presence was expected to continue until the Gentile times ended in 1914. So what does invisible presence mean? The Greek word, from which presence is translated, is parousia, formed from para, alongside, and ausia, being, derived from I, me, meaning, be. Hence, parousia means, literally, being alongside, that is, a presence. What is ironic about the Watchtower's strange language is that they boast that their literature represent the language of the common man. The following was printed in 1970. A retired college professor in Japan is employed by a large clothing company to teach the Bible and its morals to its employees. Which retired college professor? What's his name? From which college did he retire? How many of you noticed that they tended to do things like that? Some time ago, someone commenting on one of the videos made the point that they tend to do that a lot, including referring to books, for example, without giving page number. Like a Catholic encyclopedia... <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> that, that word is always a tongue twister for me. A Catholic encyclopedia states. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day. Anyhow, back to their claim of the language of the common people. 
a missionary of Jehovah's Witnesses called on him, and he confessed to the missionary, that those interested in the Bible, often asked him questions that were hard to answer. The book, The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life, was offered to him, and he readily accepted it. When the missionary called on him again, he said, I'd like to have five more copies of that book. I read it in bed the night I got it. I have never read a book that outlines the important points of the Bible, and explains them understandably, as this book does. This is just what I need for some who are asking questions. That would have been the 1968 publication that was revised in 1981 to cover up some of its statements regarding 1975. That book is now out of print. Apparently, their truth that once led to eternal life is no longer true today. I wonder what it really led to. Anyhow, at the very least, what they taught in that book about the generation is no longer true today. I wonder if that unnamed retired college professor is still alive and still impressed. Moving right along. Being a Greek scholar, he showed great interest in the Watchtower article on the Kingdom Interlinear Translation of the Greek Scriptures. So impressed was he, that he remarked, the Watchtower really is taking the deep knowledge of the Bible to the common people, isn't it? That's where the churches have failed. I decided to do a little test with some common people to see if the Watchtower Bible really does use the language of the common man. It was the language of the common man that was used in writing the inspired scriptures. It is for this reason, that the New World Translation uses, not the archaic language of three or four centuries ago, but clear, expressive modern speech, so that readers will really get to know what the Bible is saying. Just from Matthew 24, 3, we see this word, presence, and cannot reconcile the Watchtower's definition of the word, with what the common man understands it to be. If you tell the common people that Jesus is invisibly present, they would understand it to mean that Jesus is present here on earth, but invisible. Not that he is king in heaven and invisible. But how about the second part of the verse, the system of things? That strange little phrase appeared again at Hebrews 1 verse 2. Has at the end of these days spoken to us by means of a Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he made the systems of things. At Hebrews 1 2, the Watchtower's kingdom interlinear shows the word ages and the word age at Matthew 24 verse 3. The Mount's interlinear uses the word universe at Hebrews 1 2 and the word age at Matthew 24, 3. The interlinear at BibleHub.com uses the word worlds, plural, at Hebrews 1, verse 2, and age at Matthew 24, verse 3. What is it that informs the watchtower that the common man would say system of things over age or ages or worlds or universe? At church recently, I decided to ask some common people about the system of things. These included some high school and college students, a primary school teacher, two elders, and a pastor. What do you understand the system of things to mean? Um, the system of things has to be more, well, more than one. Um, um, aspect. One, uh, you're talking about what is happening in the religious world and you're also talking about what is happening in the economic, political uh, world and even um, the environment. All of that, put, put it together, uh -huh. um, would, have, would have encompassed the system of things. The system of things? Yes. Things sounds relative, like what kind of things? System of power, things operate. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me give you a clue. Let me let me put it in put it in context. God created the system of things. What do you understand that to mean? God created how things are supposed to be in a sense. Uh -huh. Um the system of things. <laughs> 
what do you understand by the system of things? System of things? The system of things. I don't, I don't know what you're referring to. Actually. All right, let me, let me, let me give you a, a clue. God created the system of things. I've never heard that expression before. Okay. What do you understand by the phrase, the system of things? The system of? The system of things. Meaning okay. you know things are you know? No, no, I just, just, I'm just asking what do you want? All right, let me, let me, let me put it, let me make it clearer. God created this system of things. What do you understand that to mean? God created the system of things. Uh-huh. He created it in a specific order. He created them. Create them that they know what to carry out their role. God created a system of things. The system of things. The system of things. Uh-huh. So God created this system. Thank you. That's it. What is the system of things? Dear Watchtower members, just how falls must watchtower statements be before you can recognize just how false they are if you believe my church folks are just too dumb to understand the system of things do yourself a favor approach some common people who have not been indoctrinated by the watchtower organization and ask them what they understand by the term the system of things without preempting them. Then ponder the watchtower statement that your Bible is translated in the language of the common man. In the next video, I shall be pointing out to you that this is not by chance. It is all part of a scheme aimed directly at deception. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.